Well, then we have like six minutes. Um, speak faster. Uh, your role will be to push buttons. I will push buttons, yes. Well, 2005, uh, there was an idea. On the way back from Fostem, a couple of guys said, well, Fostem is nice, but the buildings are like a little bit old, crappy, and the rooms are overheated. And the other problem with Fostem is it's in winter. I, I don't know if you've been there. It's freezing cold in Brussels. So we decided, well, we have this new modern um, university here we could use, and let's do it in summer so we can do a barbecue afterwards. And uh, in, uh, <clears throat> on that. this is a touch screen, by the way. No. <laughs> now you know. Um, don't touch it. <laughs> but even back then, uh, Frostcon had the, the, the features uh, we are used to, like, for example, a conference. And even the three wise men showed up. <laughs> and a bouncy castle. And over the years, we had a selection of bouncy castles. <laughs> then there was a merchandise booth, even back then. And uh, you can buy this year's uh, t-shirts, by the way, at the merchandise booth. There was a social event. And we had a, like, I think five years ago, we had a, like, a, like a show and a glowing frog. And there was barbecue. By the way, do you recognize this guy? <laughs> we all were much younger back then. We had lots of volunteers over the years. Um, one guy even showed up from Ireland, David Dolphin. He now works, uh, now works somewhere in the valley, I believe. Flickr or something, some big startup. Um, then we had, well, this, this, this is a strange thing. Every, every year around Frostcon, suddenly those, those little uh, chalk markers appear on the way from, from, the, from the train station to the university. We have no idea how this happens. Then we have, of course, we always have the essentials like Club Mate and coffee. Um, over the years, we had some clever ideas. The problem is, you have like long, long uh, rows for people of people who are who are waiting for their food, but you don't. We have different queues for steaks and sausages. So, what do you do? Well, you uh, give everybody at the end of the queue a sign uh, to pass it on, and. It works. Um, this year, we tried something new. Uh, we, we hired professionals to do the barbecue. Let's see if it works out. If not, we will switch back to volunteers. Over the years, we had some fails. Um, uh, let me translate. Uh, uh, hi to the uh, hottest booth of the, of the conference. Uh, I really like uh, that you're the hottest, but next time, please uh, add a, a sharpener for your pencil, because it's not really usable that way. Uh, we had some famous speakers over the years. Some of them you might even say again, see again this year, like Andrew Tenbaum, Meta Hall. Uh, Dries isn't able to come because he's on vacation, and also Rasmus is giving a presentation tomorrow at five, I believe. So, of course, we had kittens over the year, telephones, <laughs> and um, yeah, after I think six or seven years, the main organizers decided, well, there's more in life than Frostcon, like family and other boring stuff. So um, we had a, a new generation of organizers stepping up, like was it two or three years ago? I can't remember, like around this time. And um, we grow a little bit. So we are now about 20 people who are organizing this event with the help of lots of volunteers that are now uh, 
walking all around, you, you can you recognize them by their green shirts. So, yeah, uh, and for this year we have, of course, uh, further announcements. So, yeah, I have my own microphone. So the hashtag for this year is FrostCon10, since it's the 10th FrostCon. Um, there were some recent changes to our schedule. Um, for today on lecture room five, the talk at 11.15, um, revolutionizing healthcare uh, is replaced by attaching IoT telemetry, tele telemetry, 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 whatever, uh, telemetry. <laughs> In German it's uh, pretty easier. And on Sunday, they were the one. The Ceph workshop is uh, cancelled due to illness of the speaker. And also in lecture room five, there is one new talk, which is um, from SAP to Kibitendo ERP, which is in German. And uh, another new talk is in lecture room three. Contain yourselves. Uh, both talks are at, seven, uh, at quarter before six in the evening. And the next talk, which was cancelled, is in lecture room five, which was Agile unter Zeitdruck, which is replaced with uh, what is cloud, also was is cloud, also a German talk. These are the recent changes. Um, the bouncy castle this year is not in the yard. It's in another yard. We have more than once. It's uh, when you come from the entrance directly to the right-hand side, uh, you will go, go down to some stairs, and then you see on the right-hand side our bouncy castle and ball pit. So we still have it. It's just not in the intersection of this uh, conference. Also, this year we have two new lecture rooms, uh, lecture rooms seven and eight, which are, which are basically around here, <laughs> which replace some open space, which has been before. Uh, they were built, in, built last year, I think, and are finished this year, and so we, we are starting to use them these years. So we can give you more talks in parallel, so you have more hard decision, decisions, decisions to make. So, and before we finish, I'd like to hand over the microphone to the uh, dean, dean of uh, the Department of Computer Science, Mr. Hayden. You have like minus two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, welcome everybody. I don't want to waste your time with uh, contentless speech. And uh, therefore, I just would like to welcome you and express my uh, pleasure and uh, the honor of hosting uh, this uh, conference for a decade now uh, that has emerged from this university by the initiative of, uh, at the start, one professor who is here today together with uh, a few students and it has uh, become now a, a regular event and a very interesting and uh, a growing international conference. So. Enough for now. I wish you uh, two pleasant and interesting days at the FrostCon, and may the frog be with you. Uh, this wouldn't be possible with, uh, without the help of some, some sponsors. Uh, I'll just mention a few, like Host Europe, LinOTP, uh, Grandcentrix, uh, Life Reply, Trivago, Gonicos, and Zalando. And uh, with that, it's, it's, it's over. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, and uh, uh, hurry up to see the next talk. Enjoy FrostCon.